Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're gonna be showing you how to apply stain to some wooden benches that are used for outdoor seating. Please stay tuned and continue watching until the end because we're gonna show you the entire process of how we stained everything. So that way you can obtain the same beautiful and professional results. If you want to learn how to do all kinds of DIY projects and home renovations, then you're in the best place here on YouTube since that's all we do here at Frank's Handyman Service. Consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and activate the notification bell so that way you don't miss out on any future videos that we're gonna be uploading. This is the waterproofing stain and sealer that we're gonna be using on these wooden benches. It's for all weather protection semi-transparent from Bear Premium that we got at Home Depot. We're gonna be starting by painting the bottom part of the wooden benches. The reason is because there's a lot of components and pieces of wood that are just, they require a lot of detail and a lot of time. So since this is the most time consuming portion of the project, we're gonna go ahead and get this done first. And then from there, we're just gonna flip it over and paint the top portion. And that's how we're gonna do each one of these. And in order to apply the stain, it's pretty straightforward. We're putting it directly onto the wooden bench. The first thing that I did was dusted it off because these were used for quite a while. And so I just removed all the dust. And then from there, I'm just, I have a four inch wide angled brush that is special for stains or this kind of material. And I'm just dipping it about halfway through the brush. And with that little bucket that I have, I'm taking off the excess on either side. And from there, I'm just applying it directly to the wooden bench. Now, the nice thing about this stain that we're using is it's not super runny. Most of the time when you think about a stain, you automatically think that it's like really watery and runny. But the nice thing about this one is it's kind of like in the middle. It's really beautiful. The color is chocolate and it's not too dark. It's not too bright. It's just like a perfect tone. And uh, the owner was super happy. It definitely transformed this outdoor uh, dining area. And so once you paint all of this, the, the bottom part, then you can flip it over. And I started painting the bench that's on the top. And I made sure that I get all of the sides and then also the top. When I first put in the stain there, I make sure to spread it evenly in long strokes. And then at the very end, I do super long strokes from one end all the way to the other. I try not to stop in between or, or anywhere in the middle since if you do that, it's gonna make like marks from the brush. So once you apply it and spread it out, at the very end, you just wanna give it like a really long stroke from one end all the way to the other with, without stopping. And that's gonna give you the most beautiful and professional results that you can obtain. But once you do that, that's pretty much the process of how you can paint this stain. The only other thing we recommend is to have a drop cloth at the bottom because once you start doing all of this, you'll have a, like some few drops that go down there. So it's just best. So it captures all of that. And then in the end, you can just remove the drop cloth and you're pretty much done. But that's the process right there. You can see anywhere you look at, it's completely um, covered with the stain in a nice, even and uniform coat. And uh, overall, we were very pleased with the, the results. And that's pretty much the process. We hope you like this video. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and activate the notification bell. So that way you don't miss out on any future videos that we're gonna be uploading. Once you're through with everything, with this bench, we set it aside and we put some cones and some barriers around it. So that way people don't get confused and they like lean on it or sit on it or whatever. 
we just want to make sure to protect the area so we'll give it enough time to dry typically with this you need to leave it there for about 24 hours that's pretty much it may god bless you and we'll see you on the next one